So, you've just brought yourself a brand new computer. I've just brought myself a brand new MacBook Pro. And what you want to do is transfer basically your Lightroom collection or catalog from one computer to another. Now, this might seem like a fairly complicated process and I thought it was going to be. What did you say? I said I'll take a... Huh? But it's actually really simple. So today I thought I'd make a quick tutorial explaining on basically how you can export your Lightroom catalog or collection and then import it onto your brand new computer. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so this is actually quite an easy process. So let me explain what we're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of the photos and collections that I've got on one computer and transferring it to another. So the three things you're gonna need is obviously your first computer, your brand new computer, which as you can see mine is a brand new MacBook Pro. And then the last thing you're going to need is an external hard drive. This will allow you to transfer all of your photos from one computer to another. So the external hard drive is the bridge in between these two computers. So what I recommend doing first before you do anything is copying over the original raw photos. So let's go ahead and just minus that. Now I've got my actual Lightroom collected already. So what I'm gonna do it, everything is at the moment on my hard drive. I've already kind of converted it over because I didn't want to necessarily this particular tutorial to be ages or too long. So if we go ahead and open Weddings 2020, we are going to be copying over Dan and Kim's wedding, which is around about 38 photos. I've just reduced it down just to keep this tutorial nice and short. And as you can see, that is here. So all of these raw photos are on this particular hard drive. You go into selected, as you can see, there are 38 photos photos in this and these are the raw photos and what we've done is we've already copied them onto the hard drive so once we've done that what we want to do is we want to go ahead and export this collection so we've copied over the photos so now we want to copy over all the settings changes and also position within our collection because I've put them in an order that I like from start to end and what we don't want to do is have to redo all of this again on our new laptop so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we've got that kind of area selected so that is our chosen collection we're exporting what i'm going to do is go up to file and i'm going to go ahead and drop down to export catalog that you can see here so what we're going to do is we're going to export that to our external hard drive so what we're going to do i'm just going to name this so this is catalog so i'm going to do is go ahead and save that. But before we go ahead and do that, we want to go to our export options. So we've got three buttons here. We've got export negative files, build slash include smart catalogs, and include available previews. Because we've already copied over the photos, original photos, the raw ones, we don't want to export negative files because the negative files are the raw files. I know it doesn't say raw, but negative files in Lightroom term is raw. But we do want to click build slash include smart previews and include available previews. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and export that catalog. This will export all of the settings from your Lightroom. So we're not copying over the original files, we've already done that. We're just simply copying over the actual catalog. And this, depending on the speed of your computer, this old boy is very slow. That's why I hence I've brought the new MacBook. So once it's done this, we should be able to copy it over nice and quick. So let this computer do its thing. Couple minutes time should be done, and let's go ahead and import it to our new Lightroom Classic. One eternity later. Okay, so it's done. That took about five minutes in total. Uh, this is why I'm buying a new computer because this computer is hella slow. It's from like 2012. So let's go ahead and minus that. And inside our weddings, you can see it says Dan and Kim's cat, which is the catalog. And this is the file we need. It is the .lrcat, so Lightroom catalog. This has got all of the smart previews and everything built in. So what we're gonna do is close that down. And I'm gonna go ahead and just export that. So we're exporting that, transferring the photos from this computer to our new laptop. So what I'm gonna do is just basically treat it like an external hard drive. And what it will do is it will now pop up on our uh, folder here. And as you can see, Weddings 2020 is now on my uh, laptop. So what we're gonna do is open up Lightroom Classic. Now, as you can see, opens up really quick. And what you want to do is basically import this collection. So what I recommend doing is holding down Alt or Option, and we're gonna go ahead and it, where you can see it says Import Catalog. 
So let's go ahead and tick that like so. Now let's go to where we found that folder. So go to weddings. Let's go ahead and drag that out. Let's go to Dan and Kim's. Let's go to Dan and Kim's catalog and then go to catalog here. And we're gonna go ahead and click choose and then we're gonna go ahead and click open. Now as you can see, it will open up with this dialog box which says all folders, folders one, and then selected 38. It remembers where the raw photos are because we haven't moved them because we're working on that external hard drive. It's easy to drag and drop. And which is why I recommend copying it before we opened Lightroom. Then what we're gonna do is go ahead and simply click import. Now this may take, take several minutes, it may take no time at all. As you can see, it's done it really quickly. And as you can see, in our collections now, we've got Dan and Kim's. And as you can see, all of these photos are edited. So if we go ahead and open up number 34, go to our develop panel, as you can see, all of that is edited. All of the files, the, as you can see, the sliders have all changed. And we can even see the before and after. So there we go. That is how you can transfer your entire Lightroom catalog from your old computer to your brand new computer. In this case, a laptop. And as you can see, it is really easy. It may take some time copying your entire catalog over, but if you do it by collection by collection, it's really easy to do. And there we go, guys. That is how you can export your entire Lightroom catalog to your brand new computer in five minutes.